So you've had the opportunity to insert and modify the location and rotation of families. Now let's take a look at creating your own from an existing one. You could, in the Revit environment, start a brand new family file and use one of these templates to create furniture, lights, doors, windows, but instead click on the yellow folder at the bottom or open Windows Explorer and then do a search for all the RFEA files. So in the search box type in asterisk which is shift 8 dot RFA and as you're scrolling through these in the local disk here C drive at the beginning of the list you'll see several of the families that you might already have you'll see a sofa and dishwasher range this is kind of a good way to see what's in Revit or comes with Revit because sometimes it's hard to find in this folder structure uh, keep in mind that there are some metric files in here that start with M so you can go through some that start with M and get down to here some of the other ones that you might want to open and modify. So you might have your own that you've downloaded from Revit City or some other source. Uh, open that one. You can open any one of these and then save it as a different name and modify it so that you can create your own family file. So what I did was I double clicked on the bike rack and the original bike rack that's here or one of them there are two or three different types of bike racks here that come with Revit but uh, I decided to use this one here this bike rack so that I could modify it. You decide to pick something different windows, chairs, benches the shelving, some of that needs to be updated uh, and tweak it so that you can create your own fail, family file based on your design. So here I would, I double clicked on this one. Um, I went online and looked at different bike racks and decided to create this bike rack here. So I double clicked on it and opened it in Revit. And then I started to use the sweep um, tool. So the original bike rack, and I'll go back to it here, was here a sweep. And the reason I know that it is, is that I can just press my pointer. It says sweep on it. So I'm. we're going to save the file as a different name and family and put it in your individual folder for this course or family folder which you should probably have by now uh, or start one so that you can start to build your library so save it as a different name maybe my bike rack or whatever the name of it is and then you can start to edit it so if you select it uh, you can Pick edit sweep and either edit the sweep or start to break the path a little bit. So what I did on this one was I double clicked on the path to kind of open the path. And then I started to delete some of these pieces. And once you start to delete the piece, this uh, sweep profile will go to a different part of it. So then I use tools like Split Element and Trim Extend and just basically drawing here lines to create a new sweep. And then I ended up creating then um, three different sweeps. One is the main base and then I had another one for this handle and then a third one for the tire and copied it over. So you can use the 
3D views or you can start to use the elevations if you'd like to line things up. So I use this to, for instance, copy this circle over. So once you have your 3D image in place, you can save it and then load it into the project. When you load it into the project, you'll be able to see that it actually works. When you're done, and like I said, you've opened up a completely different one, not necessarily a bike rack. So you can use one that comes with Revit, or you can open one that you've downloaded from Revit City and tweak it in some way. And then when you submit your file to Blackboard, you'll be submitting it in two different places, submitting both the original and the one that you tweaked, both to the assignment practice folder that we've been using and also the discussion board. This is one module that we can use to share with other classmates, the, the families that you're developing, so that everyone starts to build their family's library. So post both of them in the discussion board and give them a name and description so that other people in the class can download those families and use them on their projects as well as you are going to get several from them. It's a great way to share, share information. And I'm all about sharing information because honestly over time you'll find that you get so much more back as you start to open up the communication. This will be a good way to create something that you can use for your project. I know several students that are creating families based on what they're incorporating in their design. Okay, so have fun and let me know if you need some help or if you have any questions. You can even contact me after the class next year, next semester, if you have something that you're working on and you need some help, let me know and we can meet on campus or, or I can help you develop it 